Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today is a pretty fascinating park creation. We're gonna be looking at Japan City Raceway, created by McGillicuddy, one of our Discord advanced builders and silver patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Gilligutty. Here he set. Yo, Johnny! Say hello to the very first park I ever completed in Planet Coaster. This is a Japanese theme park with the main attraction being a really long go-kart track that weaves throughout the entire park. There are three different themed areas, a modern city area, a traditional Japanese themed area, and a lakeside pier area. The park includes four coasters, three flat rides, a bunch of themed areas. Keep in mind that there are no actual park entrance to the park. I was wondering. <laughs> I hid the guest spawn points at different places, so you're going to have to explore this park at your own pace. Sorry for the inconvenience of that, and it's not no problem. Also, this park includes a ton of Japanese ads uh, that I had saved from RCT three days. I hope you enjoy this one. It took me roughly a month to make, including my breaks, but I still always like to return to where I got my start in this game. As always, I take heed of any criticism, so feel free to give me any tips I need for my next creation as your advice has gradually made me a better builder overall. I'm still in love with this community and I hope you're doing well. Stay strong out there and take care as always. Peace, McGillicuddy. Boom! All right! Really great introduction. That sounds like a ton of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned and we'll get right on into it. And here we are. Boom! Look at this. This looks incredible. No actual park entrance. It's, it's, I'm glad he mentioned that in the submission because I was going to actually start the video like this ago. I couldn't find the park entrance. I was looking around for it. Probably should have read that first, but I like to do everything as we go to keep things spoiler free for me. I like everything to be a surprise, including the introduction. So we're just going to start here at Dragon Noodle. Boom. Looking very sharp already. Look at the lighting here. Selling lots of noodles, little overkill. Maybe get some drinks in there instead. Boom. I would like to maybe, you have this big building, tons of space. Maybe do a little interior and have these inside. I think that would be a little bit nicer, but uh, I'm sure your efforts have gone elsewhere and uh, you had plenty to do with this mega build. But that building looks like a, it's so big and it just looks primed for an interior. So, um, I, I was really excited about this park because of the go-karts. The go-karts being the main attraction of a go-kart, an exploration go-kart that takes you through the city. Ah, there's a spawner. So, there we go. We found the first spawner. <clears throat> exploration go-karts is a really, really fun concept. And we've seen it a very few times. I think the best one I've seen so far was the... Uh, Great America Park where we went all across America in go-karts. I really had a fun time with that And these are the types of go-karts that are so detailed That you kind of have to just Sit back and look around rather than do the old bollard trick where you get to race them manually So we have a gondola. I'm not really ready to take the gondola, but since we're here I guess we're gonna do it. Uh, this one's pulling up to the top. Where are we? I can't figure out what's going on here. All right, these are the ones that we got on. I'll put this in super fast forward because this is gonna take a while. This is at times three speed. Whoa. Saying some of these ads came from RCT3. Off we go. Into the city. We're gonna we're gonna have to explore this park in in a very different way than we're used to because of these gondolas were the first main attraction that we found in the park. Let's slow this down and take a look at the city that we're approaching, because there's a bunch of stuff down there that I'm sure I missed a wooden coaster in particular. So I think we're gonna come back for that. But I am most excited for this go kart, which it appears that it is located up here. So I kind of want to do a, a race. No pun intended to the go-karts see how quickly we can get there ride that main attraction and then we'll check out all the other stuff after and out the gondola we go we are now at the top of the mountain we did see something um i saw we saw something similar in one of our was it a mini park contest somebody did this japanese city theme with a coaster racing across uh tracks very similar to this 
Uh, and, uh, but there were, I was wishing that it was go-karts and not a coaster, and now we get to see that here, so... I'm actually really excited for this. I love these big, crazy, vibrant, flashy, neon cities. They're just really fun to explore and get lost in. Oh, look at these signs. A ramen food truck. Wow. All the fun ads. It's a Coca-Cola. Oh, you even have them on the... I didn't know you could do that, to be honest. Or are those handmade? No, you can put ads on the... Little canopies. That's cool. There's another city. <laughs> Wait, are we going back down? No, I'm not ready to go down. We're going forward! Oh! Ryoko. Let's go on this. That looks amazing. Oh. I like this coaster because it's it seems so dangerous. Not, not only just aesthetically with all the gears and like the oil rig looking stuff. But the fact that it's at the top of the mountain overhanging the cliff. So at any point, if we end up looking down, we're also at the highest point of the mountain looking down, which is going to make it seem so much more terrifying. So it looks like we have a, a giant inverted boomerang. There's a look at all the stats. Let's throw it in test mode and give it a ride. I go in seat view, no guests. Let's check it out. Some really cool perspectives on this coaster, as expected, with the placement of where it is and how high it is. Seeing that city backdrop over there, seeing this city backdrop over here, really cool. Love the lighting on this as well. That orange glow just makes it feel dangerous. The flashing lights and gears. Amazing, amazing theming on that. Really well done. Now, I'm really curious how we get to the go-karts because I thought it would be up here. I might be mistaken. Because we just go to a dead end, which is the coaster attraction. There it is. 
I see the go-karts there, but I don't know how to get to them. Oh, I walked right by it. This is unfortunate because you need guests to ride go-karts and you have it sitting here closed. <laughs> Guys, if you submit go-karts for Spotlight, set them up because uh, I'm going to be sitting here for like 10, 15 minutes by the time this thing fills up. Tell me we have guests in the park. 500. Ugh. All right, guys, I will cut to it when it's ready. It's green across the board. It's going to be a super exciting creation, and it's going to be well worth the wait. In fact, it might just start with these two people. So let's see if this happens. Yep. So it just started with three people. Another reason you want to set your go-karts in play mode or open the go-karts so that we can see all the racers on the track at once. It's just going to take too long to fill up at this point. I'm, I'm letting her race. We're going to watch her go because I really want to soak up the environment and see what this uh, track has to offer. Nice view of the drop tower and Ferris wheel. City line back there. Gondola. Good, good. This part reminds me of Need for Speed Carbon, the downhill cliff racing sprints. Quite fun. Oh, wow. Oh, she's kicking their butts. They're way behind. Oh, nice. It's the Rainbow Road, everybody. Beautiful views. Oh, there she goes. Wow, look at that coaster way back there. Passing by the wooden coaster under the bridge. Oh, this will be interesting climbing our way back up. A cosmic cow shop. That's fun. Ah, I like this back area. Lots of detail back here. Here, Yoku. I wonder if there's anything you could do to spice up these caves. And, and, I mean, they, they, they're perfect circles, and I, that means you use the perfect circle tunneling option. And it's feeling a little bit too... What do you call it? Stock. It's a stock tunnel with some light. Just wondering how you could jazz that up. I love these, like, areas where you've got going through this between the buildings with all the detail. You had it down below as well, going past that cosmic cow shop into the back alleys. And then, you know, you have the variety of the nature cliffside stuff, which reminds me of Need for Speed Carbon tracks. Almost exactly, like, just the, the, the vibe and feel of it all. It's really cool. Uh, I, I really like this concept a lot. So much so that I, I wish there was more city and... Like, we, we pass through the city, and we pass by the city. And then the same thing on the way back. Part of me wishes we kind of went in between the buildings a little bit more and around. And then you have, um... Almost make it like a real street. So the go-karts are the street, and then the paths are the sidewalks. Then you have guests walking up and down the path walk, pa pathways while the go-karts are racing down the street. Then you could do little bridges and crosswalks and things like that. I'm just trying to think, like, I'm not suggesting this is what it needs. I think it's great the way it is. I'm just thinking that this is such an awesome idea that it's got me thinking creatively. And for anyone that's thinking of doing these things, what, what could you do to elevate this? What could you do to add more to this? Because it's so fun, even seeing it from this perspective, just the cars racing around near this big city. It's it's such a great idea. And how, how could you mix that and take it one step further using the F25 drive tire coaster, 
uh, the, the the drive car, launch car. Um, there's other vehicles, the the Ghostbuster uh, vehicle that you can drive around manually. How could you integrate that? What what if you could do a theme park like this? That's all city based, and all the sidewalks are where the get, the guests get to walk around with crosswalks. Integrate some train crossing in there. Um, use nothing but Ghostbuster cars, go karts, uh, uh, coasters that use vehicles. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the game. Uh, the the kitty coaster go, go, car ride with the Night Rider cars. Mm. Yeah, there, there's a few options there. The cool, the old old school classic cars. Oh, the Ghostbuster vehicle that's the shooting ride. You could have that in there. That's a lot of rides right there. That's a, that's a half a dozen at least, and that's all you really need to make a really good theme park. So, almost like a Need for Speed vehicle inspired only park in a city like this. And I, I love what I'm say what I'm seeing here. And I just think it's got me thinking, how could you push this further? I know you said you worked on this for a month. It shows. It's beautiful. The buildings are great. The ads are great. It has everything that it should have. It has multiple attractions. But with that said, you did you did say a month. And I know some people out there are willing to work on projects with people, collaborate, and get these things up to, uh, you know, something that would take one person a year or two to make, you know, mega parks. What, what would this look like as a mega park idea? And this concept is really really awesome so um shout out to Mc mcgilligutty for this this idea because i i love this idea so much that i want to see more of it and i'm thinking what else could you do to this and I'm, I'm hoping people watching this or builders building get inspired by this because it's very rare that you get to see these kinds of builds and done in in this way so hats off to mcgilligutty for bringing something unique and original to the table that i haven't seen and so much i like it so much so that i want to see more variations and styles like this okay so looks like there's a little back way that we can get out of here and go back down hey is that the same wooden coaster that's at the front entrance no samurai all right yeah, all your your rides are a test mode, but you have guests in your park. Your get your park runs beautifully. So I guess my one bit of feedback for McGilligutty would be to if you have a a, a a fairly small theme park that's not a mega park that runs at a good frame rate, you can have a thousand guests in your park with all the rides open and make it like a fully functioning, working, rideable park that's in it's it's open, open to the public. Twelve hundred meters of track length. Let's do this. Alright, I like it. Fast, furious, but also has this like um almost magical vibe to it at times. You're going through this kind of well-lit forest with lots of colors and fireflies and it, it just it had that little magical vibe to it. I do think at times it was a little bit sporadic and chaotic and your transitions were at strange times on unlikely spots to see them, but it, it, it kind of worked. 
I mean, looking at the G-forces, the laterals, it's all looking good in terms of the game. Maybe your vertical G-forces could be improved in some areas. It's getting a little bit hot and heavy. It could use a little bit of refining for sure. But I think the layout, the concept, and the design of it was all pretty fun and you're utilizing that back into your park. So yeah, it's a strong effort. Okay, let's move on. Looks like we have another coaster right here. Yuri Yoku. What do we have going on here? I think it looks like a bar cast. Kind of has this uh, stage vibe to it. Like we're going to see a, a band. What do we have? A Typhoon Infinite, not a bar cast, but similar design to it. A thousand meters in length. Your vertical G-forces are getting a little bit hot on both your coasters. Try to keep them about five or six at the most. Let's go. Very fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Really good job. Let's uh, let's go explore the rest of the city. See if there's um, looks like there's some flat rides in here. Some eating areas. I think for main attractions we hit them all minus the wooden coaster. Here's the cosmic cow shot from the other perspective that we didn't get to see. Yeah, we. I think the wooden coaster would be the last one. So we're gonna head down in that direction, which is kind of where we got on the gondola to the the beginning of the park. So it looks like we kind of did a, a, a wrap around. I do like how your park wraps around like, as a big circle from the bottom to the top. It looks like we came down the back way, and it looks like there's also a way to get up there from this way which is cool. I don't know how I feel about the, the the setup for these benches here. Maybe would have pushed it over a little bit so people could walk by without ha brushing up against everyone who's eating. Maybe design a little food court. All right. There's the go-karts passing through. We finally have full, full guests on there. Look at that. Look how much fun that is when they're all racing around. Oh, they're having a great time. Oh, this is the lift again. Well, how do we get to the wooden coaster? It's got to be down here somewhere. So this is the dock area, the pier. We have uh, the Ferris wheel, the drop tower, the wooden coaster, all the fun rides you would find on a pier. Wooden coaster looks awesome. Let's uh, find the queue. Oh, I guess we're in it or skipped it. Something happened. This one's taking off. Let's look at the stats of the stats. There they are. If you want to see them, let's go. G-forces are better on this one. Oh my god, spoiler alert! Oh. Is this the right coaster? It is? Alright.
All right, I love a good wooden coaster. I think this one was pretty, pretty solid. Not my favorite, but a, definitely a good one. Has a nice layout on there. There's a look at it from a top-down view. And as the park overall, let's talk about it. I like the coasters. The coasters were fun. They were creative. They had good smoothing. I do think there's some areas that you could tweak and, and, and enhance and improve uh, some of them, especially the RMC. I think that one needs the most work. Maybe maybe try to get some feedback from some of the more experienced RMC builders, maybe like a Galaxian or someone. See who's on Discord. You can always run things by Zafo or someone. I really like the uh, boomerang. I thought that was well designed. Wooden coaster was pretty solid as well. Go karts are freaking phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I mean the the whole idea, the concept that you got going on here is a lot, a lot of fun. I do think the lighting is it's very vibrant and it looks amazing from the distance, and that's what you're going for. And I think you did it a good job of it. The only parts I didn't really like about the lighting is just those big bold reds. I think you could find ways to break that up and and make it a little bit more subtle, uh, put some variation between there and spread it out a little bit and i'm not a big fan of the green either but that's just me i think it works here for the station and what you're going for in terms of the theming and that's how it would work and look there but just these big spotlights and random spots i've never been a fan of that personally um that's just my personal preference some people might disagree but as a, a whole where it works is is where it should like where you're lighting up certain areas like you're lighting up the boarding station you're lighting up uh, a lift or a sign or a shop i think it really works there but here you can see you did a little bit more subtle and see how much better that's looking. So a uh, little hits there, some gradients, some fall offs between the orange and yellow. And the way you lit the city is just beautiful. It's perfect. I wouldn't change a thing there. And I like this concept so much with the city, the pier, the elevation, just so much detail running up. Your path work was uh, well done. You know, the making a pathway go from the bottom to the top like that, it's not easy. You have to wind it around and then you have to theme that winding areas. And I think you did a pretty good job to the point where I think it's so good. I want to see more stuff like this in the future. Night City vibes from people. See what you can come up with, guys. Hopefully someone out there has inspired from this. And, uh, you know, that's what this community is all about. It's inspiring one another to try new things. And this definitely feels like a new thing to me. So I like it. Really good job by McGilligutty, an advanced builder. I, I definitely recognize your name what was the last thing i've featured from you or seen from you just gonna take a look at your workshop here oh, oh eerie village steampunk mini park from the mini park contest we featured fire hazard not too long ago it was a, a very intense wooden coaster a very awesome wooden coaster and it was full of hazardous flames and explosions and that's about it he's got some smaller builds on his workshop so between this eerie village fire hazard I want to see what this uh, throttle retro themed coaster that you have here. This looks phenomenal. Definitely send that one in. I would love to give that a coaster spotlight. That's looking amazing. So uh, between your four latest creations, you're looking to be doing some amazing stuff. And I can't see what I can't wait to see what McGilligutty's up to next. So keep up the good work, my friend. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below for McGilligutty. Did you like this gigantic exploration uh, go kart? style do you want to see more of this from people is this something you want me to feature if it comes up let me know fire away anyways that's going to do it for me in today's video hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye now